Book 2, Unit 3, Telling a Story Unit 3, Telling a Story Unit Objectives Students will be able to Describe a scene in the present or past Building sentences using was or where with ing Use sequence words correctly Make sentences using be with past participle Join sentences using so Write guided paragraphs Use capital letters and punctuation marks correctly Correct the written work Spell correctly, especially verbs with ing Irregular past forms, etc. Describing a scene in the present or past We use am, is, are and the verb ing to describe a scene or an action in the present for examples, I am doing my homework right now. I am and the verb do is with ing. It describes a scene or an action in the present. They are watching football match on TV. The sentence again shows that they are busy watching TV. At this moment, they are watching football match on TV. We use was or where with the verb ing to describe a scene or an action in the past. For example, I was doing my homework. In this sentence, it shows was and the main verb do with ing. And it describes a scene or an action in the past. The second sentence, they were watching football match on TV. In this sentence, we find where and the verb watch here with ing and it also describe an action in the past sentence building with was or where and with the verb ing to describe a scene or an action in the past we add ing to the base form of the verb followed by was or where this structure shows that the subject who or what it can be a person or a animal or a thing. Then the verb and there is was and where before the verb. The verb should be with ing but before the verb or the verb should be followed by was or where. After that you can put the information about what or where. Let us see the examples. In this picture we see some people are playing football but it happens in the past at this moment they are not playing football it happened in the past and the sentence they were playing football in the field as the subject is they plural so we have to put the plural be verb were in the past and the main verb play it should be with ing playing they were playing football in the field the next sentence we see she it is a singular third person so we have to put was in the past and the verb drive the main verb is d r i v e but when we add ing we drop e and we add ing so in the in the sentence we find she was driving a car where we can find along the street we see this picture here she was driving a car along the street. Sequence words. When we tell a story, we use words like then to show that one thing happened after another. There are also some sequence words like then, after that, after a few minutes or days, later, finally. We use these words to relate what happened after one after another sequence words usually begin a sentence here is an example you can find Ali opened the door then he switched on the lights so first he opened the door after opening then he switched on the lights it shows that something happened one after another Making sentences using be, 
with past participle. We add past participle of a verb to the verb be to describe what happened in the past, such as in an accident, we describe something what happened in the accident, then we use past participle with be verb. This structure shows after the subject, whether it is singular or plural, we have to use the verb was or were, and then after we have to use the past participle of the main verb. Let us see the examples. This is the picture or the scene, and something happened here. It is an accident, and this man, he was injured in the accident. Here we find after the subject, as it is a singular subject, we used was, the be verb, and then after we use the past participle of the verb. In the second sentence, this is also about an accident, and what happened here? His car. This is a singular subject, so we used was, and after that the main verb damage in the past participle form damaged, and where it happened? Near the road. So, his car was damaged near the road. And all this describes something happened in the past.